All right. Hello and welcome back to the podcast once again, everybody. PayPal and Patreon links are both down below for anybody who wants to support me, like always. So, uh, this time, a shorter one. Another nation has joined the nine-figure club, if you want to call it that. Egypt's population has officially exceeded 100 million, following behind uh, Ethiopia and the Philippines having exceeded 100 million in uh, recent times. Egypt has now exceeded 100 million and is uh, projected to get up to, uh, by mid-century, at least 160 million people. Even with uh, the normal gradual decrease in birth rates as they continue to rise as a nation, they are expected uh, apparently to get up to at least 160 million. So, as per what we do here, uh, we're going to do some quick math as uh, to figure out what exactly these numbers work out to in terms of uh, energy and resources. So that uh, we can get an idea of the energy and resource demand of Egypt's inevitable rise, and uh, thus, then you can get an idea even just for their small segment of numbers out of the world's total population, what... Uh, all of that is ultimately going to add up to across the rest of the yet-to-rise world. Granted, Egypt is along the pathway already. They're not starting from the bottom right now, like, say, the Congo or Haiti or Burkina Faso or something. So for their numbers as present, normally in present day, uh, disregarding the uh, the suppressed numbers brought about by the, the current situation that started uh, spring of last year, and is uh, still in ling and is still in lingering effect, likely for the remainder of this year. Uh, norm normally, in present day, Egypt is up to about between 800 and 900,000 barrels per day of oil consumption. Which, in terms of first world living standards, uh, depending on which version you use, would, if we, uh, for a basic sake, round that up to an round that up to one million, uh, just to make it easier, that would equate to. Either if you use uh, the U.S. standard, about 15 or 16 million people at uh, first world living standards out of the uh, present 100 million. Or if you use the uh, higher fuel efficiency, more public transit, and uh, uh, more outsourcing of industry, a uh, secret reason behind uh, some of their lower numbers, the uh, lower average consumption numbers of European or East Asian, aka uh, South Korea, Japanese numbers. Then uh, rounding it up to roughly 1 million would equate to about uh, roughly 30 million people or so living at uh, first world living standards. Granted, obviously, that, that still doesn't mean like literally exactly that many people are at first world living standards and everybody else is at third world or something. It's a lot more hazy, uh, kind of a uh, uh, mix and match across the place. So even discounting the forecasted future population growth, uh, just the present numbers if everybody only intends to uh, go up to uh, European uh, style of uh, first world living standards, then uh, that's 30 out of 100, which leaves 70 million left. Uh, we can just round down to 60, which means uh, that's another 2 million barrels per day of consumption that uh, Egypt would inevitably end up having at some point in the future if, again, uh, their population just suddenly stayed at only 100 million which it's not going to, but uh, we'll get back to that in a second. However, if uh, they intend to go for more uh, U.S. and Canadian uh, style of first world living standards, which uh, the Middle Eastern nations, at least as we've seen so far, for those uh, especially around the Persian Gulf that have uh, completely risen up. They all seem to uh, prefer going for more of the uh, the American style. So that would be uh, 15 or so million so far at first world living standards. Out of 100 million, we can round that down to 90 to uh, make things easier. And uh, that would thus equate to, for all 90 to uh, completely economically rise up, that would be a total of six, meaning Egypt uh, would or will potentially grow through another 5 million barrels per day of oil consumption domestically. So, uh, in actuality, those numbers, uh, because you then have to factor in the additional 60 million people that are inevitably going to be living there, that's another 60 million divided by uh, 30 million per 1 million barrels per day of consumption uh, per the 
European East Asian first world living standard, which would mean instead of an additional 2 million barrels per day, Egypt is uh, likely going to add, as the future comes forward, another 4 million barrels per day of oil consumption on top of the uh, roughly uh, rounded up 1 million, in reality, uh, 800 or 900,000 barrels per day that they already have. Now, if they follow, again, the already established Middle Eastern trend of going more towards uh, U.S. First World Living Standard style, then that would uh, mean another new 9 million barrels per day of oil consumption inevitably being added. However, most uh, nations aren't ever going to complete uh, their uh, rising trajectory because there's going to be a lot of uh, resource constraints and wars and uh, economic implosions that are going to uh, be constraining things and even bringing quite a few uh, first world nations uh, back down towards second or third world status, but that's neither here nor there. So for the other major energy factor, electricity, at present Egypt's electricity demand levels are on average roughly 25 gigawatts, which uh, in comparison to the U.S., the U.S. in present day is usually at an average of about 500 gigawatts. And so for uh, dividing out the numbers, it actually uh, comes out to roughly the same as the oil numbers uh, worked out for. So for, uh, by scaling with the U.S. electricity demand numbers, Egypt's current demand of uh, Egypt's current demand of 25 gigawatts uh, works out to roughly 15 or so million people at uh, first world living standards, assumably, and that's 15 out of 100 million. Uh, for for simplicity and benefit of the doubt, we'll round that down to 90, and thus and thus uh, 15 divided into 90 goes in there six times, which uh, would work out to if Egypt's population stays at exactly 100 million. Uh, to reach full first world living standard status, at least under American style of everything, Egypt would end up having a total average electricity demand eventually of about 150 gigawatts. And instead of uh, being roughly half, uh, as with the oil numbers, for the EU and East Asia versus uh, U.S. comparison, the electricity demand is usually some ways a bit above one half, uh, closer to like two-thirds but a rough uh, rounded out estimate uh, for using EU slash uh, East Asian first world living standards. If uh, that's the route Egypt went, they would end up having an average demand level of about 100 or so gigawatts, uh, maybe a little bit above. And uh, then when you actually account for the 60 million additional people Egypt is forecasted to have uh, during the next several decades or so, those numbers end up at uh, EU East Asian standards, uh, them having 160 gigawatts of average electricity demand if the nation were to rise completely. And uh, with uh, US standards, their numbers would end up being around 250 gigawatts. So that's just a, a quick look through and rundown of the uh, potential growth numbers that uh, would be inevitably coming. And again, that's just a general energy overview. That's not even getting into a all of the millions and millions of tons of copper and steel and uh, other metals for inevitably all the, uh, the additional infrastructure and uh, new and more modern buildings and everything. But before we close it out, uh, remember again, uh, Egypt is not alone in this regard. Vietnam is following right behind them, about to hit 100 million people in a couple of years, and uh, is going to be following the, uh, the same rising nation trajectory along with uh, the Philippines, uh, following right behind them in terms of uh, current consumption numbers, and uh, who already has uh, more people, actually, and Ethiopia eventually. Brazil still has a decent way to go, also. Nigeria as well, with uh, double the population of Egypt or Vietnam. India, the uh, biggest still rising factor, uh, as they continue to uh, chase after China in numbers. It's going to take them a while to get there, but... Uh, India's working their way up as well in terms of uh, various energy and resource consumption numbers. Granted, China also is still going as uh, they've extended first world living standards out to a uh, huge, decent chunk of their population now, but they still have a few hundred million people left to go, and uh, they're going to be overtaking the U.S. in oil consumption soon. They've already long since overtaken the U.S. in electricity demand. China's is already up to uh, over 800 gigawatts, and uh, they're likely going to be exceeding a terawatt of uh, active electricity demand on average. 
But humanity's bright and happy future aside, uh, that's it for this one. So thank you everybody for sticking around and listening. As always, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support me or help me, PayPal and Patreon links are both down below. Along with on screen, there's always links to uh, like some of my better videos I've done. That's it for me for this time. So may God bless you all, and I will see you all around next time.